You don't reason with intellectuals. You shoot them. The Jews are the master robbers of the modern age. Victory belongs to the most persevering. God is on the side with the best artillery. Envy is a declaration of inferiority. War is 90% information. Uncroquivo mutu. He who knows how to flatter also knows how to slander. The art of being sometimes audacious and sometimes very prudent is the secret of success. The reason most people fail instead of succeed is they trade what they want most for what they want at the moment. Victory is not always winning the battle, but rising every time you fall. If you build an army of 100 lions and their leader is a dog, in any fight, the lions will die like a dog. But if you build an army of 100 dogs and their leader is a lion, all dogs will fight as a lion I base my calculation on the expectation that luck will be against me never interrupt your enemy when he is making a mistake. The world is not ruined by the wickedness of the wicked, but by the weakness of the good. It is not necessary to bury the truth. It is sufficient merely to delay it until nobody cares. The best way to make everyone poor is to insist on equality of wealth. Courage isn't having the strength to go on, it is going on when you don't have strength. If you wish to be a success in the world, promise everything, deliver nothing. Until you spread your wings, you'll have no idea how far you can fly. The people to fear are not those who disagree with you, but those who disagree with you and are too cowardly to let you know. The only way to lead people is to show them a future, a leader is a dealer in hope. The purpose of religion is to keep the poor from killing the rich. Men who have changed the world never achieve their success by winning the chief citizens to their side, but always by stirring the masses. Six hours sleep for a man, seven for a woman, and eight for a fool. Every hour of lost time is a chance of future misfortune. Alexander, Caesar, Charlemagne, and I have founded empires. But on what did we rest the creations of our genius? Upon force. Jesus Christ founded his empire upon love, and at this hour millions of men would die for him. Impossible is the word found only in a fool's dictionary. Wise people create opportunities for themselves and make everything possible. Impatience is a great obstacle to success, he who treats everything with brusqueness gathers nothing, or only immature fruit which will never ripen. How many things apparently impossible have nevertheless been performed by resolute men who had no alternative but death. I am surrounded by priests who repeat incessantly that their kingdom is not of this world, and yet they lay their hands on everything they can get. Once you have made up your mind, stick to it, there is no longer any if or but. Half of the people in the world are below average. To have a right estimate of a man's character, we must see him in misfortune. The fool has one great advantage over a man of sense, he is always satisfied with himself. Friends must always be treated as if one day they might be enemies. History is a set of lies agreed upon. Never ascribe to malice that which is adequately explained by stupidity. 
you become strong by defying defeat and by turning loss into gain and failure to success. Strategy is the art of making use of time and space. I am less concerned about the later than the former. Space we can recover, lost time never. The amateurs discuss tactics, the professionals discuss logistics an army of lions commanded by a deer will never be an army of lions. If I were to give liberty to the press, my power could not last three days. How can you have order in a state without religion? 4. When one man is dying of hunger near another who is ill of surfeit, he cannot resign himself to this difference unless there is an authority which declares God wills it thus. Religion is excellent stuff for keeping common people quiet. The world suffers a lot. Not because the violence of bad people. But because of the silence of the good people. This soldier, I realized, must have had friends at home and in his regiment, yet he lay there deserted by all except his dog. I looked on, unmoved, at battles which decided the future of nations. Tearless, I had given orders which brought death to thousands. Yet here I was stirred, profoundly stirred, stirred to tears. And by what? By the grief of one dog. Napoleon Bonaparte, on finding a dog beside the body of his dead master, licking his face and howling, on a moonlit field after a battle. Napoleon was haunted by the scene until his own death. 